Slovenia. Primoz sits down and looks at Ace King of Hearts. Don't see a lot of sweaters in Las Vegas in the summer or whatever <laughs> that is. He's going to raise it up to 3,100. Isaacs now. Author of five poker books. Ace Jack Offsuit. When Susie won the ladies championship back to back in 1996 and 97, it was seven card stud they were playing then. Isaacs makes the call. Legranu with pocket deuces. Reaching for chips, and he'll make the call. Three to the flop. It is deuce five ace, and what a flop for Negrano. He hits the set, and his opponents pair their ace. Great spot for Daniel. Adamich with his pair of aces at the king kicker. Susie has a pair of aces with an inferior kicker. Adamich first to whack. That's 7,000. This is it. Susie was 10th in the main event in 1998, just missing the final table the year Scotty Wynn won it all. And Susie's going to move all in with the aces and jack kicker. This is for one-third of Daniel's remaining stack. At a minimum, he's going to call. It's just a question of whether he wants to push all in. I didn't say suck out. I said triple me up. Well, Daniel's not moving all in. He just makes the call. Adamich now with top pair, top kicker. All in. And he moves all in. And that would put Daniel Negreanu at risk, were he to call. I think I got you guys crushed, but I'm not sure. I think he has them crushed, and I am sure. You got three fives? No, you don't. You don't have it. You don't have it. I think you both have ace-king. Daniel's my hero. <laughs> I'm going to treat him to Rocky Five. <laughs> you got an ace. He got two? No. He can't see the whole cards, right? I believe he can. <laughs> Daniel's going to make the call, so both he and Isaac will be at risk. But Daniel in great shape. Oh, no. Jeez, what the hell do I need? She needs divine intervention. Two hearts, that's what I need. No. No, I need... I don't know what the hell I need to save my ass. 30, three, four. <laughs> Daniel's right, unless there are hearts. With a three, four, we'd have a three-way split pot. 36. Beat by the best. So Negrano and Isaac's all in. We got hearts, too. Turn card now. It's a six of spades, and that's going to end it. Isaacs and Adamich drawing dead. Isaacs eliminated. And center. And Negrano with Queen 10 offsuit. I know how badly Daniel wants to win the main event, but I still think he does too many other things. He plays golf. He's got his own blog. He's doing wee bowling. He's scattered. <laughs> he does raise it to 3,000. Over to Ryan McLean with pocket aces. He's another Canadian player. He's from Edmonton. Maybe this is the Canadian's year to win the main event. Ah, a re-raise to 9,000 from the small blind from McLean. So that action back to Daniel now from Toronto. He lives here in Vegas. I don't really want to, but I kind of have to. Well, you didn't have to, Daniel, but he did. He calls. 6,000 more of these two Canadians to the flop. It is 5-4 queen, and that's dangerous. Daniel paired his top card. You see, Daniel hits top pair, and he's hopelessly behind. That's why he didn't have to. You know what I think he's got? Aces. <laughs> that is uncanny. <laughs> I think he's got two aces. What do you do if you're McLean now? Well, I'm not even sure McLean has aces, and, and we can see his cards. Yeah. Uh, McLean, a little more than half the pot. That's 12,000 with his aces. <laughs> well, if Daniel is so sure he has aces, why did he reach for chips? Ace. Yeah, he made the call. Give him an ace over there. Turn card is a deuce. No help to Daniel. McLean checks this time. You know, I think Daniel's talk has frozen McLean. Daniel yeah. talked his way into a free card. There's a five on the river, and that earns McLean the check mark. Why would you check aces on the turn? That was such a strange play. You had a straight turn on everything. <laughs> if I'm a claim and he's got the best hand, I just want to crawl into a hole. It's like Daniel's flashing a spotlight in your face. Claim checks it. Daniel checks it out. <laughs> there you go. Aces. I told you I knew what he had. I had a queen. <laughs> wow. Spooky, man. I was like... <laughs> well, Daniel might have lost the pot, but the respect he won by calling the aces is invaluable. Back to Daniel Negrano with the featured table. He's got a pair of sevens against Matt Trout, who's got an up-and-down straight draw after the flop. Turn card is a 10. Trout hits his straight. Daniel can only hope for a chop. 
Lon, what Daniel does is pretty simple. He says you, you get into someone's head, understand how they approach the game, and then you play their tendencies. It's just hard to master. Trout, a 28-year-old mortgage consultant from Wisconsin, checks it over to Negreanu. Daniel bets 4,000. Daniel with a pair of sevens. Trout, check, raises all in. I had you on the flop. Then you got me on the turn. <laughs> He's right again. I had you, but then that card changed the leader, I'm pretty sure, right? Couldn't we use Daniel to track down Bin Laden? <laughs> you had, like, some kind of nine in your hand, right? Like a king nine. Or king nine? Nine, whatever. Take it. <laughs> Daniel, folds. Daniel folds. You're a sick human. King nine? King nine. I did it again! <laughs> yes! Even when you lose, they cheer for you. <laughs> I had you till then. What, you couldn't give us the suits? <laughs> Oh boy, I'm reading good oh today. Boy. That's that's good. I'm 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 reading good. I'm feeling good. <sighs> Daniel is definitely focused right now, calling out pocket cards that's right me. and left. He is what you might say in the zone. The poker TV consultant on the Milwaukee's best light pocket cam shows us Jack eight from the small blind, as he said. He's gonna think about it. I think. Not much to think about. I'm just gonna call it's him. on you. Okay. Well, that's the right play. You know, fine. You know, trust me. That's the right play. I, <laughs> I, I promise. I'm not lying. It's in the book. Well, Daniel's I thrilled to get right. a free I, I flop. The right play. He does check his option. These two to the flop. It is ace, six, king. Neither pairs up, but Morris got the best of that with a flush draw. And they both check it. Turn card, three of hearts. Daniel with a straight draw now. Go ahead. And they check it to the river. And the river card of five of spades makes both players' hands. Morris got his flush, but Daniel also hit his straight, and that's second best. If Morris had bet earlier in the hand, he would have gotten rid of Daniel. Now he's made his flush, and luckily for him, Daniel made a what straight. What are you trying to tell me you got? Morris bets <laughs> 3,500. Like maybe you got a king. I don't know. Well, maybe Daniel's radar is askew for once, but why would he put Morris on a, on a flush? I have the type of hand I can't call you with. No shot. Fold or raise, I guess. Here, eat some of that. Uh, he does raise it. <laughs> it's a 9,500. I can't call him. <laughs> Morris has got to love that raise. Eat some of that. Oh, brutal. And a re-raise to 29.5. That was pretty unlucky for me to have to make that hand on the river. Wow. Wow, wow, wee, wow. Daniel considering the possibility that his straight might be beat. Ah, uh, yikes. Daniel is befuddled. He is befuddled, Lon. <laughs> the eye of the tiger. More sitting just a little too pretty. And I don't like anyone singing at the table than Marcel Luce. Why would you re-raise me? As Daniel said earlier, that was the worst possible river card for him. He, he makes the straight. Morris never Why made a bet until the river. Let's look at. Let's break it down. I have the best hand. I have the worst hand, and I'm bluffing. No, you're not bluffing. Okay, let's rule that out. There's zero chance you're bluffing. That much I know. But you have no clue what I have. That's the problem. That's the problem I'm having right here. You think I was bluffing. That's the problem. Well, Daniel, not as quick as he was earlier in putting things together, but this is a tough one to put together. I'm going to make a really, really good decision, I think. But I had what a is it? hand. I had a straight. Great lay down by Daniel. Yeah. I had a straight. Does Morris want to show? I think it was a good decision. Well, Damn! Show him the bluff, man. Show him, the show him the bluff. Yeah, right. Come on. If Morris had shown him, Daniel would feel even more empowered. I guess you weren't bluffing then? Well, in the end, Daniel's instincts again proved correct, but Kyle Morris, the former poker dealer, is becoming very troublesome for Negreanu. Aces up. Aces up. Now he's just going to lie. That's a, that's a strong move then. So then it, it, it's kind of like a bluff if that's true, but I don't believe you. So. He's right, but his chip stack's still going in the wrong direction. 